Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. Uh, my name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on um, acid bases and indicators and specifically we are going to discuss on the universal indicator and the pH. Previously we talked about commercial indicators and we mentioned uh, some of the examples of commercial indicators are phenolphthalein, we have litmus paper, we have also methyl orange, and we also looked at the colors that, that are produced by these indicators when they are added in different solutions of acids, different solutions of bases, and different solutions of neutral solutions. So today we are going to look at the universal indicator, how it works, and also how the pH scale works as well. So the universal indicator is a full range indicator that gives a range of colors depending on the strength of the acid or alkali. So remember we talked about commercial indicators not being able to tell if an acid or a base is strong. But in this case the universal indicator is going to give different colors depending on the strength of the acid and bases. It is usually prepared by mixing different types of uh, certain indicators and then uh, the color usually uh, appear in regards to its strength. So acids uh, usually show a certain color but the color intensity changes depending on the strength of the acids and the same applies to the bases they show a certain color but the strength of the color changes depending on the strength of the bases and the universal indicator is usually comes hand in hand with a chart and this chart usually helps us to be able to get the other bit of uh, the universal indicator we refer to it a pH scale so you notice this universal indicator is a solution and on the solution or the bottle most of the time the bottle comes with a pH scale or the pH chart. This pH chart has that range of colors that can be used uh, for uh, to check if an acid or a base is strong or weak. And then that color is that those colors are also put side by side or with a pH scale. This pH of pH scale is a scale of numbers, and it tells us uh, if an acid is strength is strong or if a base is strong or if an acid is weak or if a base is weak it usually ranges from 0 to 14 uh, 0 being on the left side 14 being on the right side and then if for you to be able to determine the strength of the acid or a base when you add a few drops of the universal indicator whatever uh, color you are get you get from the solution you compare it to the shades on the pH chart and then which will also give you a certain specific number which is going to tell you where the acid is. Is it strong or is it weak and where the base is, is it strong or is it weak. An example of the pH scale is shown. So you can see the pH ranges from 0 to 14. So we are going to go to details on this pH scale. So when you look at the pH scale, I said it begins from 0 to 14. And you can see there are different colors of beginning from red on this end and violet on the other extreme end. And you notice the pH is increasing depending on the strength of the acids and bases. So let's discuss it in detail. So the range of 0 to uh, around 6.57 shows acids. Uh, the strength of acids and then the pH of 8 to 14 shows the strength of bases. So it's dependent for the acids. Uh, the strength of 0 to 3 shows strong acids and the pH of 4 to 6 shows weak acids. So the strength of acids increases gradually from 6 lowering to zero so if we take a strong acid it will have a ph of between zero to three if we have a weak acid it's going to be a range of ph of four to six and then opposite is true the increase in the strength of the bases increases as you go 
on the right side. So you see weak bases begin from the pH of 8 to 10 and then strong acids begin with the pH of 11 to 14. So the pH is increasing so does the strength of the bases. And you notice also the color is also becoming stronger. We start with a blue color on the uh, bases which are very weak but as you go towards the 14 uh, pH of 14 you notice that the color becomes stronger same applies with the acids you see we are starting with a yellow who in the weak acids as you move to the left side in the strength as the strength increases you notice the color becomes more deeper so the color changes yes you can see the color change for different acids and different bases but not only that it also tells us the strength and the strength of acids increasing increases gradually as you go on the left and then the strength of the bases increases gradually as you go on the right so we said that the strength of acid must be uh, the strongest acid will have a pH less than 1. And you can see how we read the word pH. It is small letter P, capital H. Always remember that as you're writing. And then the strongest alkali will always have a pH of 14. You can see it is the strongest of them all. And then neutral substances will have a pH of 7. Neutral substances are like distilled water. And then any uh, pH that is less than 7, less than 7 it means it goes on the left side is acidic in nature and any pH above 7 is alkaline in nature or basic in nature. So let's look at some, some examples of what we have been discussing. The table below shows the pH values of some solutions. The solution is likely which solution is likely to be a strong base, a strong acid, lemon juice, and antiacid? So let's look at the table. So the table we have solution J, K, L, M, and N. And then we have pH 6, 13, 12, 10, and 7. So depending on the pH we have been given specifically on this table, not on the chart that we had in the previous uh, slide, we are going to use this table to answer this question so when you look at the first question which one is the strongest base we say that bases increase their strength as you move it increases from seven and above and the strongest bases are usually between uh, 10, 11 to 14 the ph of 11 to 14 and if you look at the ph you have been given the one that is largest for bases is ph 13 so this tells us the strongest base in this case is K. The next question is a strong acid. Strong acids are usually completely opposite of strong bases. Strong acids will have pH that are between the pH of 3 and the pH of 0. Any pH in between there is a strong acid. So when you look at the pH you have been given in this table, we can see the lowest pH we have here is 2. This tells us that this is the strongest acid. So L is a solution that is strong. Then we go to lemon juice. Lemon juice is actually has acidic properties. That's why it usually has that uh, sour taste. So the lemon juice, however, is not that strong. It's not such a strong acid. So if you look at the weak acids, we say they usually range from the uh, pH of 4 to around 6 um, to 6. So the, uh, the lemon juice will have a pH of 6. This is the lowest pH or the not the lowest pH. It is the uh, weakest acid in the table that we have. So that is going to be our lemon juice. And finally, we have the antiacid. Antiacid is usually a medicine that is used to treat acidity and it is usually basic in nature. Remember, we talked about uh, some of the examples of bases and we were saying that magnesium hydroxide is used to make antacid tablets when we are beginning uh, on the introduction bit. And if this is basic, it needs to be weak because it, we do not want to have a very strong acid that can burn the stomach. So the only weak as base we have in this case is M with a pH of 10 that is very low. So we will say that solution that is likely to be an antacid in this case is solution M. 
so that brings us to the end of the question so i hope you have been able to understand how the ph works so from zero to six we usually say those are acids and strong acids are between zero and three and weak acids are between four and six and then from um, 8 to 14 are were bases weak bases are from 8 to 10 and then strong bases are from 10 to 14 so it is important to see how the strength of the bases and strength of the acids appear on the ph scale so see you in the next session